This is uh, the M816. And what we're going to be looking at today is the level line off the rear winch. We uh, removed it. It's very heavy. Not sure the uh, actual weight, but heavy. Okay, here's the base. And inside, there's internal, regular axle, like round bearings. And there's two, like, tracks. And they just sit in them in grease. And here's the, bot. here's the, this part. You can see the, uh, okay. And that, that bolt in the middle is broken yeah, off. So you have to weld off. a stud. Supposedly that bolt is like $225 to replace that bolt. These are the bearings that came out on the ends. The roller bearings. Got new ones coming from Oshkosh. So clean these all up. Gonna make new felt washers at some point. Right. There's the so Mike, describe, describe how uh, the process of one of these ends here. What what actually goes on there? It, it goes like it's gonna felt, be a, then a, copper. A, a thrust washer, then a felt washer. And this would go on with the bearing in with it. With the bearing inside of it. Here's the bearings. So the bearing gets pressed in, then it would slide on. Then you have one of these retaining rings would go on after that, after, you know, like this. And then there's one of these large snap rings holds it in place. And be cautious with the snap rings because they're not very plentiful to find. Right. They're hard to get. And our way we got, we couldn't get this apart. It was all seized up. There's uh, grease fittings underneath on both sides. And we basically greased it till... Well, you can't really see it from this side unless you got a light. There's a grease fitting here, and there's another one on the other side. Basically, with the pin undone, we greased it and kept greasing and forcing in grease and hydraulically pressed itself out with all the grease. Okay. So now, this this, this level of wine has basically sat for how many years, do you think? Uh, I don't know, 20 plus years. And then how these get grease is you get the grease fitting, you get grease here, there's a port in each each one of these, and that's how it feeds grease to the bearings. So And uh, on, on... One of look, them doesn't have a hole. Right, so now we're just not sure if that was on purpose or by mistake. So we'll clean so, this all up and polish everything. See, there's one of the holes right there. That's yeah, a grease hole. One right there. So this didn't come a, come apart easily. It was uh, it put up quite a fight. Yeah. And this is not a light unit. What what's your approximate weight of this unit? At least 150 com complete. Everything on it. 150, 170 foot, 200 pounds. I don't know. Heavy. With everything on it, probably close to 200. That's heavy. So. And uh, it didn't hurt that we had soaked it uh, with WD-40 and uh, some old diesel and kerosene and yeah. stuff. So uh, I, had, you know. I had all these bearings out and I cleaned them already. They had old grease holding them together. I'm gonna take everything back. How out. many? Do you know how many they are approximately? Or I don't know, 35, 40. I'm gonna take them all out again and clean them. I had yeah. them all out already and cleaned them with a parts cleaner. Is there any kind of a felt that goes on the inside of this? Or it's uh, on. There's a felt washer right here on this i believe i believe there's a felt washer in here so, so in other words that separates that's like another part is it i'm not really sure honestly i don't know gotta clean it up more i'm gonna polish everything clean get it all cleaned up today okay so that is uh the m816 level rear level wind for the uh recovery vehicle the 45,000 pound winch okay Thank you, and have a good day, and good luck. Any more questions, uh, I'll try and uh, comment to them later. Thank you. Bye.